Q member is Jaya. So, are you ready to take off? Hi, Jaya, ma'am. Are you ready to take off? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, here you can see the world map. Here is India and there is Sweden. And there is the map of Sweden. The neighboring countries of Sweden are Norway. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Please mute yourself. Did I miss the class? No, no. I just started. So, uh, so there is. This is the map of Sweden. Here you can see the neighboring countries are Finland and Norway. So this is Sweden, brown in color, and Stockholm is the capital city of Sweden. So I put some. Yes. Did I miss the class? No, Snehita. So I have some facts and statistics of Sweden. Location is between Finland and Norway in the Northern Europe, bordering the Baltic Sea, Gulf of Bothnia, Kattegat and Skagerrak. Capital is Stockholm. Climate is temperature in South with cold, cloudy winters and cool, partly cloudy summers, subarctic in North. Population is 10 plus million. The religions are Lutheran, 87%. Others include Roman Catholic, Orthodox, Baptist, Muslim, Jewish, and Buddhist, 13%. Now, Kingdom of Sweden is a Nordic country in Northern Europe. It is the largest country in North and fifth largest in Europe. Stockholm, it is the largest city of Sweden. Stockholm is located and the city is built upon numerous islands. By virtue of its location, Stockholm is regarded as the most beautiful capital cities in the world. Here in the background, you can see the so famous statue ruler of sweden virtual ruler of sweden next one is saint george and the dragon you see the picture of this statue yes nessa now what is this yes what is this this is the statue which is located at stockholm so first one is Birger Jarl, the virtual ruler of Sweden. And next is St. George and the Dragon. Okay, ma'am, thank you. Okay. So now the next ma is Ma, why it is named as uh, George and the Dragon? Maybe some famous person he was they called they made a statue. Okay, right. ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So the next one is the flag of Sweden consists of a yellow or gold Nordic cross that is an asymmetrical horizontal cross with a crossbar closer to the hoist than the fly with the cross extending to the edge of the flag. On a field of light blue, the Nordic cross design traditionally represents Christianity. So this is coat of arms. The design and color of the Swedish flag are believed to have been inspired by the present coat of arms of Sweden of 1442, which is blue divided quarterly by a cloth pad of gold and modeled on a Danish flag. Blue and yellow have been used as Swedish color at least since Magnus III's royal coat of arms of 1275. Here you can see the picture of coat of arms. Now come to the currency. The monetary unit in Sweden is krona, S-E-K, plural form is kronor, and equals 100 odd. Banknotes are printed in values of 20, 50, 100, 200, 500, and 1000 kronor. 
so now language is the official language of sweden is swedish and it is spoken by the majority of individual living in sweden one of the two key minority languages is sami which is spoken in the northern regions of sweden and finally uh, finnish there are also a number of romanes in sweden who speak romani Sweden, uh, Swedish is not only the official language of Sweden, it is also one of the official language of Finland. Influences on Swedish language have come from... So first is H, H equals to hey. Good morning. It means how are you? Tak means thanks. God morning. Good morning. Forlat. Sorry. Hejda. It means goodbye. And snola. Snola means please. You can use these words and surprise your family and friends. So now come to the airlines used in Sweden. First one is Airlip. Airlip's hub airports is Stockholm Arlanda Airport. The next one is BRA, Bradens Regional Airlines. It consists of two parts, Bradens Regional Airways. Here you can see picture of this, Bradens Regional Airways and Bradens Regional Aviation. Here you can see the picture of this. Now direct fly. Direct fly, the hub airport is Bortange Airport. Then next one is John Air. Hub Airport is Umia Airport and Norwegian. Next one is Scandinavian Air. Scandinavian Air. Developed export oriented economy aided by timber, iron ore, etc. This constitutes the resource based on of an economy oriented towards foreign trades. The main industries include motor vehicles, telecommunications, pharmaceuticals, industrial machines, precision equipment, chemical goods, home goods, and appliances, forestry, iron, and steel. Here you can see a pie chart of export and import. Export is Euro 4.7 billion and imports is 1.6 billion. Now the culture of Sweden. One of the key characteristics of Swedish culture is that Swedes are egalitarian in nature. Egalitarian means the people believe on principle that all peoples having equal rights, all people having equal opportunities. So they are humble and fine hosting absolutely unacceptable. When speaking Swedish, speak softly and calmly. As an example, work hard and play hard are not common concept in Sweden. People work hard, but not too hard. They go out and enjoy themselves, but without participating in anything extreme due to the strong leaning towards egalitarianism in sweden competition is not encouraged and children are not raised to believe that they are any more special than any other child the family in sweden is extremely important and as such the rights of children are also very well protected here in this picture you can see some uniform some dresses of sweden now, gift giving etiquettes. If you are invited to a Swedish home, then it is suggested that you take same type of gift, gifts as you would give in the UK. Example, bucket of flowers or book a box of chocolate. If you choose to give flowers, then ensure that bouquet does not include white lilies or chrysanthemum. The reason for this being that both type of flowers are typically given at funerals. Since Sweden is a such a child-centered country, it is always recommended that you take gifts for any children who may be part of the family you are visiting.
so this is the pictorial representation of sweden so here is the stockholm buildings and this is you can see my cursor right so this is national bird called eurasian black bird and this is eurasian elk and as you know it's like a reindeer yeah but this is called eurasian elk and the national flower here you can see it is called small blue ball blue bell small blue bell so this is the pictorial representation of sweden now come to this part can yeah, you b c d no, no can you tell me what is this yes ma'am this is ure this is olsa this so, is something this picture means what so i am telling you something yeah i am telling you ma'am it is a alphabet uh i am telling you swedish people are second most tattooed in the world so these are the signs of tattoos it is a unique creative city where people really want to express themselves like this sign means strength this means separation signals likewise they have many signs so as i told you that it is the second most tattooed in the world so i just put this slide for knowledge now come to sweden cuisine so they have ginger cookies cinnamon buns pitti panka meatballs are very famous over there potato haze etc now we will see some beautiful places to visit in sweden ma'am which is the national food of sweden it's meatball okay ma'am thank you so some beautiful places to visit in sweden first one is jiranger jiranger fjord norway the deep blue in unesco protected jiranger fjord is surrounded by the majestic snow covered mountains peaks peaks water wild waterfalls and lush green vegetations here you can see some picture of this where you can sit there and take amazing pictures now the next one is lofen island norway there is an old saying which goes where there is a will there is a way and you will need to be very determined to get to the lofen island in northwest norway it takes the best part of a day by plane and boat to get there but it is well worth it here you can see some picture of this now have you heard about this ice hotel yeah, yes yes i heard of it yeah so there uh, really is the one place you can go for a perfect chill out and stay that's the ice hotel there are around 70 deluxe suites constructed every year with ice blocks taken from a nearby river here you can see picture of this so the igloo type rooms are decorated with stunning murals and ice statues carved by local sculptor there is no worry of anything melting as the temperature in the rooms maintaining a steady 5 minus 5 to minus 8 degrees now that's cool so here you can see some picture of this room now the atlantic road norway if you are exciting uh, drivers the atlantic road should be right at the top of your list of amazing highways the roads link the island together with 5 miles with switch back more twisted than a dragon's back eight bridges and several viaducts it has been designed to the honorable title of norway's constru construction of the country here you can see the picture of atlantic road norway
Next is lolly sauna. Have you heard this word sauna? Sauna bath, something like that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Like it's it very hot in the outer countries. It's very cold there, so they go into sit in sauna. Yeah. So sauna in Finland's capital city Helsinki really is a worth getting steamed up about. Although it's easy enough to get a sauna pretty much anywhere in the country, this is one. Uh, this is one of the special and just shouldn't be missed. Here you see this. The picture of this. This is the outer picture of the sauna. And stunning, stylish, and waterfront installation. Look out over the Baltic, as well as enjoying a traditional smoked sauna, followed by a dip in the sea. There's a very classy restaurant and some great cafe terrace where you can enjoy the views. Here you can see some picture of this. So now next one is Stockholm Archipelago. If you have ever wondered that what it might be like to have your own private island, you need to sail around the Stockholm Archipelago. The Stockholm Archipelago is world renowned for the quality of its food. The island are prepared with farm shops where you can try and purchase local foodstuffs which have been ecologically produced. Here you see. Next one is Orsund Underwater Bridge, Denmark. It's imposing design, almost as iconic as the Golden Gate Bridge. In less than 15 minutes, you can leave Sweden and be in Denmark. That's very exciting. Just see the bridge, Orson Underwater Bridge, Denmark. Now the next one is Prikestolen, Norway. The Prikestolen or Pulpit Rock is one of the nature's unique rock formation and is the most famous viewpoint in Norway. Here you can see. So standing on the edge to get the ultimate photo will bring on a serious adrenal rush. Next one is Poli National Park, Finland. Now we will see one video and we'll end our presentation. Did you enjoy it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, yes, I like it. Yes, Mesa, you want to present now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, actually, Rodro sent me a camera control. Just decline that. Ma'am, he told me in the chat box also to accept it. No, just decline that. Ma'am, can you see my screen? Yes, it's visible. Okay. 
Sweden. Today I'm going to talk about Sweden. Oh, there is some technical problem. Please wait. Uh, there is some technical problem. Please wait. Then I'm covering my tea with a bit of milk. Okay. Oh, I need to put that. Sweden is a Scandinavian country, nation in Europe. In Northern Europe. In Northern Europe. Can you tell us about? Sweden after Nisha's present. Capital of Sweden is Stockholm. National animal of Sweden is Eurasian elk. National bird of Sweden is Eurasian blackbird. Sweden's currency is krona. This is the king of the of the Sweden. The Sweden, of Sweden. Of, of Sweden. King Charles. King Charles Expan. 16. 16. This is the Prime Minister of Sweden, Stephen Lofen. National is of Sweden. So this is the National Dress of Sweden. The National Food of Sweden is meatballs. Thank you. Thank you, Nessa. That was a very good question. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So, anybody else want to present? Miss, I want to present ice cream. Yeah, sure. Kendrick. One minute. One minute, Miss. Miss, can you see my screen? Yeah, it's visible. We couldn't hear you. We can't hear. One minute. Good afternoon, teacher, and my dear friends. Today, I'm going to share information about Sweden. The capital of Sweden. The capital of Sweden is Stockholm. Stockholm, the capital of Sweden, encomp encompasses 14 islands and more than Shut 50 villages on an extensive Shut Baltic off, Sea level. The cobblestone streets and already mute yourselves. He's presenting colored buildings. The decorum of Gamlestan. The old town are home to the 13th century Sorkirakan Cathedral and Kungling, Kungligas Slotet Royal Palace and the Nobel Museum. 
which focuses on no global price ferries and sightseeing boats mm-hmm. such shuttle passengers between the islands okay the national bird the mm. national bird the national bird of sweden is a common black bird the common black bird is a species of blue thrush it is also called the The common blackbird is a species of true thrush. It is also called the Eurasian blackbird or simply the blackbird where this does not lead to confusion with a similar looking local species. It breeds in Europe, Asiatic Russia and North Africa and has been introduced to Australia and New Zealand. The national animal of Sweden is the Eurasian elk. The moose or elk is a member of the New World deer subfamily and is the largest and heaviest extinct species in the deer family. Most adult male moose have distinctive broad, palmate antlers. Most other members of deer family have antlers with a dendritic thick configuration. The president of Sweden the president of Sweden is Stefan Löfven. The current prime minister of Sweden is Stefan Löfven, leader of the Swedish Social Democratic Party, who was chosen for a second term on 18 January 2019, even after having been ousted following the general elections on 9 September 2018. The national flag of Sweden. The blue symbolic is a truth. The blue is a symbolic of truth, vigilance, perseverance, loyalty, and justice. While the yellow is representative of generous generosity. The colors of the flag are considered to have been inspired by the Swedish coat of arms, which is blue and gold. The national flower. The national flower of Sweden is a small bluebell. Bluebells are a species of deciduous woodland. Over much of their range, flowering and leafing early before the canopy closes in late spring. They may also be found growing on the bracken or Japanese knotweed. Perennial plants which also form standards with a dense summer canopy. The national language. The national language of Sweden is Swedish. Swedish language. Swedish Svenska, the official language of Sweden and with Finnish, one of the two national languages of Finland. Swedish belongs to the East Scandinavian group of North Germanic languages. Until World War II, it was also spoken in parts of Estonia and Latvia. Fun fact of Sweden. Celsius is Swedish. The very first pacemaker operation took place in Stockholm. Alfred Nobel was a Swedish. Stockholm is the largest city in Sweden. Sweden is a monarchy. Sweden celebrates midsummer with a with boiled potatoes. Thank you. I hope you like my presentation. See you soon. Bye. Ma'am, actually, which country we are going to visit tomorrow? That was a very one was there for Raja Raja Babu. Why Kendrick was presenting? He was telling. Ah, we removed him. We removed him. So that was a very good presentation by Kendrick and Nessa. Thank you so much for presenting. Ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am. Yes. What yes. is the next? Uh, what yes. is the place next tomorrow? Country. Yeah. Switzerland. 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 Don't play with recording buttons. Ma'am, I'm not playing. I've been to Switzerland. 
I don't know, Nessa. So that's all about our presentation. Hope you like our presentation. Yeah. So we will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you, ma'am. Also nice. Thank you.